This is the Vichem 65. Vichem are a Turkish shipyard and if you're not particularly aware of them, prepare yourself for an onslaught of exquisite craftsmanship and attention to detail that will blow your socks clean off. I'm really excited to show you what this thing is all about. So let's get on board and have a closer look. I'm Jack Haynes, welcome to Yacht Buyer. starting back here under the flag. Well, actually, while we're here, you can immediately see the craftsmanship on offer here because would you look at that flagpole? You could mount that on the wall at home. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it, and it really does continue. The camera comes underneath the stars and stripes. Back here, you have your shower here, pull out shower so you can have a quick wash off when you come out of the sea. This cable here, if you flip this switch, this is the shore power cable, it retracts automatically back into the boat. You don't have to worry about coiling it. Obviously, it's quite a thick cable. Again, that just makes life really easy. We've got a hydraulic bathing platform on this boat. It's a shame it's not here, but this boat's tender is going to be a restored 1970s 13-foot Boston whaler with the same hull colour as the boat itself. That really will look quite special. But yeah, that will be launched up and down off this platform. And if we head into the cockpit itself, you have an enormous amount of floor space here. And the key thing about this boat, about Veecham in fact, is that it is fully customised. You essentially start as an owner with a totally blank piece of paper. So this is really bespoke to this particular owner. Everything can change, and I mean everything. But what we have here is really quite a simple but very, very nice layout where you just have seating wrapping all the way around here. There is storage underneath all of these sections. And if you remove this section here, you have a step out onto the side deck. So if you're crewing, you can move these out and it gives you an easier access out onto the side deck. This table has folding leaves under here that opens up on both sides. The detail stands out again. You've got this beautiful inset star with the maple woodwork all beautifully varnished. It's really very eye-catching. And this table can be moved as well. As we'll see in a minute, there isn't actually a, a fixed table in the saloon. There's a low coffee table, but if you want to eat in there, you can simply pick this up and move it inside. Storage underneath all this area here, all of these lift up. It's just packed with really nice, drained, fully lined storage areas. If we head into the saloon, you notice that on the outside here, we have the gloss mahogany. It wraps around the corner, and then when you're inside, it's satin. So the rest of the interior is then satin mahogany. They have 10 different wood options on this boat, but they say that the mahogany is by far the most popular. And you can see why, it does look absolutely beautiful. It's really, really classy, very warm, very inviting and it's aided by this nice subtle underlighting that you have underneath all the furniture. And there's just lovely curvature, there are no hard edges here, nothing to bang yourself on. It's a really nicely finished area. Television pops up from here, so you have that coming up opposite this sofa where you've got a little chaise long area here where you can relax and watch the television. There's a side door access here that opens up onto the side deck. The owners of this boat, they're a couple, they run the boat themselves, so it's important for them that the person driving can easily get out onto the side deck and help out with the crewing. And there's also a break in the guardrail. So if you're alongside to a dockside, you can get from the helm out onto the dockside really quickly. Up to the helm station then, you have this nice big double bench here. There's a separate navigator seat over here. They've both got foot rest so you can sit back really comfortably and just enjoy the ride. Again, there's storage dotted underneath. This will actually be a fridge under here. It's not fitted yet, but there is going to be a wine fridge down here storage down there and actually I shouldn't forget these stools pull out and they've got trays that you can fit on top as well so you can make them sort of cocktail side tables to move around the saloon as you wish but as I mentioned if you want to dine in here you can bring the table in from outside. Now the lower helm station itself obviously two helms on this boat you can have this boat with the flybridge or without this boat's clearly got the flybridge but this lower helm is still a really nice thing to have especially when you look at the quality of the finish it's like everything else in here it just looks absolutely beautiful there isn't an item out of place. And you have this lovely view through the triple windscreens over that bow with the stainless steel glinting in the sunlight. It really is quite something. You can have the boat with IPS. This one's got twin Volvo Penta 725 horsepower on V-drive shaft. So you have your twin throttles, bow and stern thruster, top speed of about 20 knots, cruising speed 14 knots for about 300 nautical miles. So that's the main deck. Let's go and have a look downstairs. The design of this area creates a really nice mezzanine effect. You have the sort of glass balustrade there. Obviously, light is pouring down 
from these windscreens. And though the galley is down there on the lower deck, there's still a great connection up to the main deck. So if someone's downstairs cooking, they can still be in the conversation and take part in what's going on up there. It's a real sort of liverboard style galley. It does feel home from home. I know that sounds like a cliche, but it really does. Again, it's got that lovely warmth of upstairs. This is an option to have this wood patterning here and it looks absolutely stunning. You don't have to have it. It's a non-cost option, but again, it just really lifts this area and, and hammers home the quality, the craftsmanship that Veacham can produce. This was a, a custom thing asked for by the owner. It's the world's largest chopping board, but it's also quite a nice way of protecting the hob. And I like the fact that even though Bosch has tried its best to get front and center in here, they've put a nice mahogany cover even over the dishwasher. So nice try Bosch, but you're not gonna get your big silver dishwasher in here. Though it's nice to have it if you've got a few guests on board, obviously you've got a nice big sink here. And then again, loads of storage. You've got access to the switch panel up here as well. Yeah, it's lovely. In terms of the layout, incredibly flexible, as I've already said, but this particular boat, you've got a really large day heads here with a very nice separate shower cubicle. This on the starboard side is a twin guest cabin. So really good size again, lots of storage, and it's actually got quite a nice amount of natural light because they've got twin portholes in there. But what I really want to show you is the master cabin. So let's go and check it out. This is a real surprise, this forward master cabin. I think because this boat is designed for really good sea keeping, it's got quite a slender beam. I just wasn't expected to carry so much space forward and to produce this really beautifully arranged master cabin right forward here. And interestingly, talking to the, the owner's wife, she said what she really likes is the orientation of the bed makes it very easy to change the sheets and do things like that. And that's what's important when you're living on the boat and running it yourself, those day-to-day -day things that make life easier. Aside from that, it is a truly beautiful space. As I've said, really nice big bed itself. Again, the woodwork is just stunning. I love these little lamps here and you've got some reading lights overhead. Masses of storage again. You've got almost full height wardrobes here, here, and one over on the other side of the cabin as well. Nice seating area here just to put shoes and socks on or just take a seat and relax in here. And again, you know, the finish is really, really classy. And another nice surprise in here is this bathroom right 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 forward in the boat again it takes up the full beam masses of headroom you've got the sink over there obviously the toilets down here and then a really really large and beautifully finished shower cubicle i've got a rain shower head over here i've got a wandering shower head down here there's a couple of seats in here so you can take a seat while the shower's running it really is a beautiful space but it's not the last cabin that we need to look at down here So the second guest cabin, again, this is totally flexible. You could just have a more traditional full beam double cabin here with an ensuite. This boat has gone for something with a bit more versatility. So you've got these two fixed berths here. There, there is an infill, so you can make these into a big double. You've also got Pullman berths on both sides. So you've got two more, there's one up here as well. You've got two more bunks in here. So you can sleep four people in here if you need to. Again, if charter is on the agenda, having that amount of sleeping space could be very attractive, but the flexibility and also the way that it's executed is, is really lovely. Really big, full height hanging locker here and then a really decent sized separate bathroom for this cabin as well. Let's head up onto the decks. Just to demonstrate the side door here on the side decks, this just swings out like this, misses the guardrail, clips in place there, and then this is where you have the brake in the rail, so you can undo this, swing it open, and then you can just step straight out onto the pontoon. Moving forward, got a nice handhold here on the guardrail, but then again, the workmanship that's gone into a simple handhold on this thing, this gloss mahogany handhold that runs all the way down the coach roof, got this lovely strip of timber here as well. It is just achingly beautiful. As is all the stainless steel work, it's uh, really substantial, but it's beautiful to look at as well. It's four-man function in perfect harmony. And then quite a simple forward deck, really. That is just sunbathing space, not much else going on there, apart from the fact you've got the hatches to give you some ventilation, a bit of natural light down in the cabins below. And the last thing to mention in terms of the lengths they go here is that this is an ultra anchor. Lots of boats have ultra anchors, but this one is actually bespoke for this model of boat. I hate to think how much that must cost, but again, that is the level of thought that goes into this thing. Let's head to the flybridge. Even ascending this staircase, there are bits of detail that pop out to you, like the cleanliness of the welding here is absolutely immaculate and all done in-house. 
And I'm gonna sound like a broken record because again, this is completely flexible. You can have this layout however you want. This particular owner has gone for the seating around here and twin tables, two-way backrest here, so you can have it in a dining position like it is now, or you put this back this way and you've got a nice double sun pad. The beauty of having the split tables is that if people are sitting around here for lunch, you can easily get out without making everybody shuffle around, but you can connect the tables as well, so you can make them into one big table. This is completely freestanding. It's got some cup holders in it, so you can put that wherever it's most useful. And then opposite here, you have cooling space. Of course, you have your grill. And what's nice is the grill is actually connected to the sink. That seems like a really simple thing to do, but not everybody does it. Makes it very easy to clean the grill when you're finished with it. The hardtop isn't standard. You can have a bimini if you prefer, but actually it's really nicely integrated on this boat and actually I think enhances the looks, which is not something you can say for every hardtop. And then right forward, we have the helm position. This is a very simple space. It really is, you know, second, second helm, but it gives you a phenomenal view forward over that beautiful bow. Again, you can see the handrails stretching out down the coach roof there, that beautiful stainless steel at the end. I imagine charging along at cruising speed it would really feel rather nice up here. Let's go and check out the engines. So you drop down into the engine room from the cockpit, access is really, really easy. You've got this nice ladder down to this space and what an engine room this is. Bearing in mind, this is a 65 foot long boat and these are Volvo Penta's D11s. They're 10.8 litres. They are not small engines. They are completely lost in this vast engine room. They're on V-drives, so they're a little bit further back in the hull. That's what gives you all that space. And also, Beecham are very conscious in terms of weight balance when the boat's running as well. If you have the IPS version, you could have the IPS on jack shafts, so the pods are back there, and the engines are actually in much the same place. But access all around this engine and to the V-drive shaft itself on both sides is really, really impressive. Again, there's plenty of space around the generator. You can get to every ancillary really, really easy. You can just see as well, how the cabling is all beautifully clipped up, all nicely aligned. It is like a surgical theatre down here. You can have crew on this boat. There is the option to have a crew cabin. I imagine a lot of owners will run the boat themselves. To have an engine space like this is just fantastic. So there you have it, the Veecham 65, a floating masterpiece, if ever there was one. An example of form and function in near perfect harmony. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please give it a like and make sure you subscribe to the Yacht Buyer channel and have hit the bell icon so you're notified every time we upload a new video.